Hello, uh, it's me, Joe, again. I want to show you the way to notch and, and fall a tree. Um, what's really important, what I've learned, and I've picked it up my way type of thing, but uh, is to balance your saw when you make that undercut. When you make your first cut, that, saw, that cut has to be completely level. You have to learn how to be keep your, your blade level. It's like being a carpenter. When you cut into wood, you're always square in everything you cut. When you're in the tree, when you're, in down, when you're notching it to fall it. Now it's really important to keep square. Just like a carpenter, like I said before, level and square. Because a lot of times you'll make a cut where you can't see the opposite side. But if you're square, in your mind, you know where it's at. People will tell you, hey, not do your undercut, do your top cut, but they don't tell you how to do it. This is the way I do it. I always balance my saw. Learn how to balance your saw. For an example, if I make my bottom cut, I put my hand in the middle of the saw where it's balanced. See, I could put it, push it up or down, either way, and with this hand, I could tilt it back or forward. What I want to do in my own mind, I want to get like if I put a drop of water on that blade, on that bar. I put a drop of water and I don't want it to fall off. So what am I going to do? I'm going to keep it completely level. Okay? So I'll put it like this. And there it is right there. To me, that's level. Now that's where I make my first cut. And that first cut, Determines, determines everything, all right? And then when I make my top cut and go down at it, I could be on one side without looking at the other side. And no, not exactly, but have that sense right where that other side is at and hit it maybe 90% of the time. There's a little bit that I'll be a little bit off, but you always want to make a, a good cut because that determines the fall that's controlling your tree. That's controlling the fall of your tree. Straight lines, very important. And then when you go in, you don't want to do this. You do this when you're doing your back cut, going like this, working your saw in, what's going to happen is you've got a circle inside there. You no longer have a straight line. Like I said before, straight lines with this bar, and you know where you're at. The top cut, when you go on your top notch, you want to start on your corner. You have your bottom cut, and then your top, your top notch, it has to go, the top cut has to go there, and you line it right there at that corner. That's where you line it at, where the end of the cut is at. You line it right there, not up here, not going like this, guessing, guessing where it's at. You can't guess in this, in this game. You got to know where you're at. So, when you got that cut in here, you'll probably want to go like this. So you look at it. You could you look at it and you can look down the down where that cut was at. And you see a straight line on that other side. And then you just slice it right to it. Piece of cake. It's easy. What I'm going to do and then when you make your back cut, it's the same thing. Because you have a level, a level cut, the back side, all you have to do is make your saw level. And that cut is going to be there. It's going to come out, like I said, not all the time, but it's going to come out maybe 90% or more right on the money. And you go straight in also. Not unless you want to pull it one side or the other, but you could play with the back cut. There's a lot of different ways to pull it one way, pull it the other. All it depends how the tree's breaking, what the lean is. There's a lot of other things, okay? But what I want to do is just tell you the basics. I fell trees in the hills, but I'm talking about a regular notch. I'm not talking about a Humboldt cut. A Humboldt cut is what a logger uses. You use those, you use those because you want board feet. You make that undercut and you cut way down low then you have another foot 
And if you've got so many trees, every foot, every two feet, that adds up into board feet, and that's money, okay? But you a homeowner or over at your farm or just cutting down trees part-time and you're not doing it for board feet, then you probably want to do it this way. It's a lot easier. It's safer and easier, and you're not kneeling down, crouching down to make a cut. It's right there, and a good idea is to cut waist level. Cut right here where you have control. And another thing, too, is that what I really believe in is uh, those of you who have, well, you have to be somewhat of an athlete to do tree work, period. So if when you get your saw, you always have to position yourself. For example, uh, like an MMA guy, a boxer, you always have to put your feet in an open position, just like if you're going to hit somebody. That's the way you hold the saw. And you put it to, the, to your side where it don't jump and get cut, but, but you always have strength from the bottom of your feet up. You don't want to cut with your, with your feet straight up and down like this. What, does it hap what, what happens? You know, you could be pushed and knocked over. You don't want to do that. You want to handle the saw from the bottom of your feet to the tips of your shoulders. And then if you use a saw all day long, even a heavy saw, and using your body instead of your arms, because this isn't a weightlifting contest. This is handling a machine, and handling it all day, you, you won't be as tired. Mark my words. Use your legs, use your waist. Get ready, you know, like if you're gonna punch somebody, that's where you get the saw. See, I, I'll punch somebody. I'm not a fighter, okay? But if you're gonna punch somebody, you're gonna, you know, and you get the saw the same way. See, you're strong, you're stout, it jumps, your, your body's stiff and you hold it. You hold it right there. Instead of being like this, it jumps on you. Hey, you're out of control. You don't want that. Anyway, I made a long session out about, uh, about that because that's important. And anyway, so when you get back up in here, make your cut. I always cheat a little bit and I may put the tip of the saw against my waist or my leg to help me out to pivot it. Okay, and I'll go in like this. I don't muscle it like this here. I don't need to do that. I use my body. I'll come in here like this and make my cut. Perfectly level. See? That saw is level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a notch in this. I won't be able to talk because I'm going to have a chainsaw running. But I think I pretty well covered it for you can understand what I'm talking about. So now the rest of it, first is brains, now it's monkey see, monkey do. So that's what we're going to do right now.
can see right here is my holding wood. There wasn't much holding wood on there. This is a stump. When they're shorter, it's not like a tall tree. They're a little harder to, level, uh, to lay over. But I seen it go. I had the weight over there. As you can see, my wedge went in and it picked up. So I was good. And that's the way it is. And also, I want to tell you that you may not be the best on your job, but you'll do till he gets there. Thank you very much and chainsaws are blazing.